Hey guys, it's Comic Chris here. Welcome to my review of Secret Wars issue 9, the final issue of the whole Secret Wars series. So yeah, let's get into it. We start off the issue with Name on Black Panther confronting Doom. We see that Black Panther is holding the Infinity Gauntlet. No, he's wearing the Infinity Gauntlet and he uses this on Doom, which, which leads to Doom melting of some kind. I think he melted or something something like that anyway but then instantly he reforms and then the two start fighting they Neymar and Black Panther they start fighting Doom so yeah that's the first part of the story then we move on to Reed Richards who is with Sue and his and her daughter and Reed he tries to convince Sue that he knows her but Sue obviously she she only remembers what happened what she only remembers the timeline of the current world of the ever since uh, Doom uh, recreated the world basically so yeah and then when she when the conversation's over sue leaves and reed he and the he and the oh, what's his name he and the maker sorry the maker they go into the molecule man's chamber where the where he's being kept and they try to convince him to they try to to convince him to help them to defeat doom because as we know the molecule man is the source of doom's power so only so it'll be if they want to defeat doom the molecule man will be the best the best possible solution to do so so that's why they go to the molecule man and the maker in the process he betrays reed because he feels that reed that, that when he was speaking to sue he was he sees he sees Reed as weak, and he doesn't want to work with, with people who are weak. He feels he doesn't want to associate with weak people or something like that. So that's why that's his reason, that's his excuse for betraying Reed. But obviously, but we see that the Molecule Man he helps Reed defeat um, the Maker. Yeah, so he's the one who 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 gets rid of the Maker. Well, we assume that he's dead. But later on in the issue, we find out that he is not he, that he is not not dead. Well, sorry, not the issue. But we later find out in the all new or different Marvel comics that the Maker is not dead. So yeah. So we go back to the fight scene where we see Black Panther, and Neymar fighting Doom once again. Uh, Doom is dominating the fight scene. Doom and Doom is dominating the fight. Sorry, but we but he quickly learns that he is being played. That the that. They only they didn't come in to fight him, but they came in to distract him. So he goes to the chamber where Reed and the Molecule Man are, and he has this long conversation with Reed. And I like this panel in the in the in the comic where it was Reed, it was Reed's face and Victor's face, what well, Doom's face, like combined in the chess in a chess board or something. That's how it was. It was like a chessboard with mixed up with Doom and Reed's face. That's how it was. And I liked the art style. I liked the art in that. Uh, it, I think it was kind of creative. And yeah, so then Doom and Reed, they start fighting. Um, the fight ends with everything going white. Like Molecule Man is like he wiped everything out, like he restarted everything. I think so anyway. And then we find ourselves in Wakanda where Black Panther is speaking to a bunch of Wakandan people. He's, t he's educating them about the future, about what, how Wakandian is going to rise to the power, something about rising to power. I can't remember fully. I have to reread that particular bit. So then, yeah, we go back to the Molecule Man who is being accompanied by, by both Peter Parker and Miles Morales in their Spider-Man outfits, in their Spider-Man suits. Um, we learned that the Molecule Man, he's, he... He saves Miles. He saves Miles Morales, but we learned that most of the Ultimates, all of the most of them in here, not all of them, most of them, through the all new, all different Marvel, that the Ultimates they no longer exist. But Miles, he saved Miles because he was the only one who fed him. Because as we know throughout the whole series, that the Monaco Man, he he's always asking for food. He's always asking if people brought him any food. So. And Miles is the only one who fed him. So that's the reason why Molecule Man saved him. And we also learned that his mother, Miles Morales' mother, is still alive. Because Peter, he asks him if he, if Miles' mother knows that he's still here. And Miles replies, yes. So we assume that Molecule Man, he saved his mother. So that, so I'll, yeah, I liked that. I like, because 
I remember reading the issue where Miles's mother died. I felt it was it was kind of it reminded me of the of the Flash finale where the Flash went back in time to save his mother. That they had this final speech that Flash was able to say some last words before his mother died. That's exactly what Miles did before his mother found when his mother found out he was Spider Man and she was dying in his arms. So yeah, I like it. To, this issue reminded me of that of those two moments basically and yeah the story ends with with uh reed richards reuniting with his family reuniting with sue and his and his daughter uh we uh, his daughter reed's daughter he she educates sue because sue wants to know what happened so obviously sue's daughter tells her explains to her what happens and yeah and we also learn to at the very end that doom is not dead he is alive and that his face has been cured he's he's no longer the he no longer has those scars that we saw earlier in the early issues of the story so yeah that's how the issue ends and that's how the whole secret wars is wrapped up and that's how the all new all different marvel takes play that, that's how the all new all different marvel is created so yeah that concludes my review of secret wars issue number nine and my and my my overall reaction to the whole series as a whole and hopefully you guys enjoy my video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys later